Alright, Hullers, hello and welcome back to Flashing Lights. So, on the heels of the most recent tow truck video in Flashing Lights, also, I, before I go any further, I do want to say a huge thank you. All the support on that video has been insane, and I really, really do appreciate it. I wanted to come back. I know way back when, when I first started my Flashing Lights series, that I promised an EMS video. This is going to be it. I was kind of trying to debate how I wanted to do it. Originally, I wanted to wait until I had people who could join me. And right now, I don't have anyone that I'm not necessarily trusting enough of, but I don't have anyone who's like kind of in the same sphere I am, no one that is kind of also creating videos or stuff like that. Uh, I do have people that are there, they're just not around to be able to do this, they're off doing other things or whatever. And so I wanted to do it by myself, and I was wondering how I was going to... Okay, well... <laughs> I guess there's that, that guy wanted to get on camera. But I was trying to figure out how to do it by myself and have it make sense. So I've decided we're going to be rolling out in the uh, EMS SUV today as a kind of supervisor. So by ourselves, we won't be doing any transporting. We'll be having other people join us. Uh, or we'll have, we'll have the AI do the transporting. I should clarify that. No one else is going to be joining me. But what that means is down the road, I'll probably end up doing another video of EMS with other people. Hopefully at some point, I'd love to get into a server that I can kind of operate in and have people on police, fire, and EMS and be able to kind of get different perspectives on that, but for right now, it's just me. So without further ado, let's jump into this and get started. Alright, so we have just received a call, has just come in for a reported gunshot wound. I've not responded to one of these before, so we're going to go ahead and take that. We are currently on our way. We are kind of out in the county area. I really wanted to get out of the city a little bit, and it looks like this call is actually out of the city, so we're just going to make our way over. Now, one thing I kind of want to mention while we're on route to this is that uh, one thing that I've been seeing on here, or that's been very useful, is they've got that grid feature. So you can call out locations of different calls on the grid. And that's awesome, if you ask me. Like, that's a great feature. But I would love, when this game gets a little more refined in terms of the map and stuff, to be able to have street names. You know, if you think LSPDFR or anything like that, you know, you have street names. Dude, I need you to... I need you to not here, dude. Alright, I believe we're coming up on... It's going to be the next exit that we're going to have to take. And we're going to follow that road. It's going to be right here. So I believe we need to go this way. Make a right. Now, I'm going just based off of a, a one time looking at the map. So, uh, one other thing that I would love is for those of us who prefer the... the kind of realism aspect as well as whoa I say that as I go way too fast but for those of us that really enjoy like interior views and stuff uh, like I'm using my wheel right now so I'm really liking that I'd love a GPS unit inside the car whoop little bit of lag there too I'd love a GPS unit inside the car so that I could actually be inside and see where I'm going all right so Looks like that's going to be where our gunshot wound victim is. We will roll up on scene. That was a long response, too. Alright, let's, uh, let's hop out, see how they are doing. Go ahead and shut our door. We need to grab our medical bag first and foremost. Medic bag. Alright, let's inspect the patient. We're going to start on the top, work our way down. Has a pulse, is breathing, conscious, that's good. He's blinking. Looks good so far. Gunshot wound in his left leg. Just have to worry about, like, bleeding and, you know, broken bones, potentially, stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to get bandages to stabilize on his leg a big bandage. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to request transport, because obviously, I mean, I think in theory I could probably throw him in the back there, but that's not necessarily ideal. And so there you go, the ambulance will take it from here, which is awesome. We're going to go ahead, pick up our medic bag, throw it in the trunk. Now I wonder if the ambulance is actually going to respond and pick up the patient. Yep. So we're going to stay on scene just until they do. I must say, that's actually really cool. Like, Okay, well, it would be awesome if the AI eventually gets to a point where they can actually pull into areas. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to watch this, because this is kind of cool, because this is like a full response with a supervisor and everything. 
Okay, well, so he's vaporized our, our patient. Oh, well, so that was short-lived. Whoops, I don't want to be typing. I want to accept this call. We have a hit and run with a possible bone fracture. We're going to go ahead, we're going to respond to that as well. That was legit. I really like that. That was actually really smooth. Knock on wood. All right, let's go ahead. Let's jump in here. We'll check the map. So that one's going to be back in the city. That's going to be kind of towards the end there. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get rolling to this. Come on. Now, I'm sure there's probably going to be police on scene at that one, too. I'm probably going to cut ahead most of this. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is I am driving with a wheel. That is something else that I'd like to see some improvement on, is for whatever reason, the steering in this game... Whoa, too fast. Okay, that's on me. The steering in this game is, is really not legit whatsoever. I don't know why, but even with my wheel, it's like super stiff. So I'd love to see that get fixed at some point, too. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to respond, and I will see you guys in just a few. And that right there is why you slow down at red lights. That sort of thing. Even at greens, you got to watch out, because you don't know what people are going to be doing. But for what it is, we're making good time coming down here. I do have the siren on. I think this is going to be our turn. See if we can see lights anywhere. I don't. Ah, there's our patient right here. So we'll go ahead and make sure... Do we have a... We do. So we do have a traffic advisor in the back. Which I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to throw on. I am quickly... I wish, like, this is a perfect call where I wish I could call for police as well. Let's go ahead, grab our medic back really quickly. I'm going to put this down so that the bar is visible. We're going to come up here and inspect the patient just like we did before. Starting from the top. Has pulse, breathing, conscious, that's good. Probably going to be another broken bone. Possible bone fracture in the left arm. Any broken ribs? No. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to use a fracture kit really quickly, which we will grab from the back. I don't want to be... I want to get up here. Thank you. We're going to grab our fracture kit from the back. I don't know why it wants me, or it allows me to actually grab the stretcher, but that's kind of funny. We'll go ahead, we'll throw that on her arm. And instead of doing that, we're going to call for a, whoop. Can I set you down? I can't. Okay, so I have to put this away before I can go any further. It'd be nice to be able to just set that down. Maybe I'm missing something. But we're going to go ahead, use our medic bag to actually call a transport. It's too bad that we can't call the transport ahead of time. What I am going to do is put this away, but we're going to wait till the ambulance arrives and transports just to be safe. Wow. You know, I would have loved, buddy. I would have loved to be able to get into my trunk. Do you not see the arrow stick? This is too real. Okay, well, that's not really legit either. Just hit the light post. Well, let's see if we can still... Yeah, we're good. We'll throw this in there and shut the trunk. And we'll just chill for a second while we wait for these guys. Overall, that's two pretty good calls. This is actually, like, the perfect couple of calls for running as a supervisor or something like that. Now, one thing that I am interested in that I do want to mention is... If you are someone who has an understanding for how to actually skin, like how to actually put a custom skin on these cars, let me know. I'm a designer, I'd love to be able to design my own skins, but I don't know what, like how to actually apply them to the car itself. So if you have any information on that and would be willing to give me a hand, join my Discord and I'd love to have a conversation with you just to uh, get that sorted. And speaking of having that sorted, we are good, we can go ahead, clear off, and look at whatever our next call is going to be. So I will see you guys when that comes in. All right, so we've actually just had a call for an unconscious person, person, person come in. So we gotta go ahead and flip around here. We're gonna make our way down. That's not far from us, so we're on a good, we're in a good area. We have to slow down here and kind of check both ways. The one thing that I wish this car had it was an actual either priority siren that was, you know, more like the actual priority sirens, or potentially, I think this, that's gonna be our patient right there. I wish it had also, like, an actual air horn on it. Alright, let's 
go ahead. I am going to put the arrow stick on just for now. Let's go ahead and let's jump out. And let's get treating this patient. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab our bag out of the back, as always. Grab our medic bag. See if they can be transported. Potential. Arthai, who are you, buddy? Bystander. We'll inspect them, starting from the top. Is conscious, has a pulse, that's good. Do you trip and fall? What's your age? This kind of a scenario would be like, you know, an old person who's tripped and fallen, even kids who've tripped and fallen. Possible bone fracture in the right leg. So they're not actually unconscious, they're just injured. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab our fracture kit so we can stabilize. And we will go ahead and do that. Now, I guess he's had enough since we're all set. We're going to go ahead. We're going to use our medic bag on him to then call transport. Again, I wish I didn't have to do it through the bag. I kind of get why. I wish we had more of a... Like a radio or something that we could actually use. I could see the whole radio system in this game, like for responding to calls, being completely overhauled in a way that would be very, very cool, like having actual, like, dispatch and stuff, or... Alright, looks like they're on scene, they're ready to go ahead and take the patient. He's currently sitting on him. Alright, and there we go. So, we are now cleared off, we can go back 10-8 and see what comes our way. Ah... Uh... We only hire the most professional people in this city. Gotta love it. Alright, so I am responding to a reported collision. Uh, two-vehicle MVC. I'm not sure where. Or at least I'm not 100% sure. I know kind of the rough area, so we're gonna head up that way. We're gonna take this highway exit rather than going back around on the back roads, just for the sake of simplicity. Get there nice and fast. Not sure what the condition is, not sure if anyone's going to need extrication, which will add a little bit of difficulty to my job, obviously. We're going to come up here and see what we have to deal with. Uh, whoop, a little bit of lag there, my apologies. I can't wait till this game is, is smooth as butter and, you know, doesn't hiccup, but it does right now, and I don't have the BVSBC, so there's that. We're going to come down here, I believe it should be just down here on this curve. Probably someone was going too fast. Yep, looks like we've got them here. We don't have fire or police on scene. I don't know how many sus or subjects we have, not suspects. I'm not a cop tonight. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to spin around here. Uh, looks like potentially someone might have run off. We're going to go ahead. We're going to jump out here. I'm going to keep the car running. I'm going to grab the medical bag. Uh, that car is empty. That car's empty. It looks like we've just got the one patient, so I'm not sure what happened to the other person. I'm not sure about that. It's kind of a weird call. There's no police or fire on scene. Not breathing, no pulse, and is unconscious. Okay, so we've got some real issues going on here. We're going to get this lady hopefully taken care of. Wait, what did that say? Possible bone fracture. Well, our first priority right now is going to be getting her breathing. Uh, this is where a second person on an ambulance, like an actual bus, would come in really, really handy. Because then... Uh, we have to take off her clothes. Yep, that is a thing. Farm CPR. Stand on her. Oh, it's legit. Now, I see a lot of people. Uh, this actually with Ryan Newman, the NASCAR driver with his accident. People were freaking out because they brought out screens. More often than not, when you see people holding up a sheet or something like that, it's not always that someone's died. Sometimes it's for privacy reasons. Just so that uh, people aren't, you know, peeping at a car accident, because then you get this type of stuff that happens in the background. So, if you see that, don't always freak out. It's not always that. We're gonna grab our defibrillator. Sometimes it's just for the sake of privacy. We're gonna go ahead and throw the EGC leads on. Still not good. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna throw the shock pads on. Just in case we need them. And for right now, we're gonna go ahead and perform CPR once again. I'm not sure if we're supposed to have the shock uh, leads on while performing CPR. 
Because I'm wondering if there's a potential risk to the person performing CPR. I don't know. That's not something I've personally dealt with in real life. Check EGC rhythm again. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Check that. Doing good. Doing good. And now we're going to go ahead and remove all of that stuff. We're going to grab our fracture kit, get her stabilized and transported. So let's go ahead. Let's grab our fracture kit. Get this lady stabilized with that. And now we grab our medic bag and use its magical powers to request an ambulance. So now they will show up. We will take our bag, put everything away, and we will stay on scene, obviously, until they show up and transport. Not bad overall. The only thing I don't like about this call is there was... No, I don't want to do that again. I want to take the bag with me. Thank you. Uh, there's no one on scene when you arrive. It's like, in a small town, this might be a worthy scenario, but there would be more people in the vehicles. Okay. So he's decided he's going to be a snow plow. Except in this case, it's a Camaro plow, or the non-Camaro variant, because that's copyright. And that's something that I'm, I've, I hear a lot of people wondering about cars. As far as I know, car designs are copyright too, which is kind of interesting. That's going to be that. Whoa, but that's going to be that for this call. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to shut the trunk and get back out on duty. Oh boy. And, uh, get away from the non-legitness. Alright, actually, I have not gone back on duty yet. But I want to go ahead and we're going to fuel up while we're here now, because we're down at 70%, and I've not actually used this yet. I've never actually fueled up. Now, the one thing is, I don't know which side the gas cap is on. We're going to go for regular, obviously. We're going to go ahead and shut the car off. Shut the headlights off. And jump out. We are a little bit far away. But the reason I'm doing that is in case I need to click something here. I don't actually see... Is it on the other side? I don't actually see... The pillar cap. Okay, well, so I guess let's just try it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so it actually it grabs it. Now, how do I know if I've actually filled this up? That's the one thing. There's no currency, so you can't go outside of that zone. Ah, oh, it is on the other side. Okay, so that's one thing that I want is there's no indicator of where the cap is. It's way too low on this, by the way. It would not. I don't think it would be that low, maybe. But there's no, like, indent in the car. Like, you would even visually don't have any sort of way to know where it's going to be fueled up. And I don't remember seeing anything that's legit. That's totes legit. I don't remember seeing anything that um, kind of represented which side the, the fuel filler s uh, stuff is on. So I would love to see something there for those of us, again, who are going for realism. Obviously, there's a huge audience for the people who are going for realism in this game. But honestly, even if I was going for an arcade feel, I would still want that because it's confusing. I mean... Normally you park your car, I would park on the other side of the pumps, in this case, or flip around. But, it is what it is. We're going to get, woo, dude, it's getting late, you can tell, because I can't speak. But we're going to go ahead, I'm going to start this thing up, we're going to get back out on the road, go 10-8, and I will see you guys in just a little bit. Alright, well we're out here on the back roads, and before I go any further too, I just quickly want to give a massive shout out and a thank you to my Patreon supporters, or in this case, supporter, WX Squint. It means a lot, and she has been tremendously supportive of the channel and everything I'm doing as a whole. So a huge, huge thank you to her. And if you'd like to get your name on screen and a shout out in each video, you can find a link to my Patreon in my description alongside things like my Discord if you'd like to join, hang out with the crew, and that sort of stuff. But other than that, let's get back to patrol. All right, and once again, we are responding back to the city. I was back out in the boonies. There's nothing happening out there. But we do have yet another hit and run call, so we're on our way to that right now. We're going to be entering the highway here in just a second. Now, one more thing that I'm kind of thinking of, and I want to hear you guys' thoughts on it, is that I would love the ability to pick an area where my calls are. So, for instance, you could cut out an area of the map. You could split it into three parts, or even two. Inner city, 
suburbs, outer city, rural areas, like things like that, or in all. And so when you picked your, your, like whatever you're doing, so police, fire, EMS or whatever, you could also pick which division you're going to be in. I think that would be awesome. It would make it a lot easier for those of us who don't want calls that are just purely in the city. Because that seems to be really the majority of it. I think we're getting up here to where the call is going to be. It's going to be here on the left side. I think this is going to be our turn here. We're going to keep an eye out. See if we see anybody. Make sure we don't hit them too. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly where we were before. So clearly, this is a pretty nasty intersection. Or this is very similar to where we were before. Alright, so that's enough dilly-dallying. We're going to go ahead, set our bar over again. Cross our fingers we don't get slammed into. I'm going to shut my door so no one goes through my uh, cabin there. Let's grab our medical bag. Shut our trunk. And see how this person's doing. Probably going to have a fracture. That's going to be what I'm guessing. We're going to start with the inspection on the top left this time. Has a pulse, so that's a good sign. Any broken ribs? Nope. And so it's probably going to be a fracture in the left leg. Possible bone fracture. Bone? Bone fracture. So let's go ahead, let's grab our fracture kit real quick. And then as soon as we get him stabilized, we will call up the ambulance to come pick him up. I'm going to leave the trunk open for just a second. Probably a bad idea, but we're going to be throwing this right back in there anyways. Grab our medic bag and... Oh! Our medic bag disappeared. We're going to throw this in here and grab it back out. Call transport. Ambulance is now on the way. So we will put everything back in our vehicle and look at getting out of here. We're going to wait, actually, just to be safe until they arrive. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and shut that. We're going to chill over here in case someone decides they want to come slamming through here, because apparently this is a really dangerous area to be in. I think this is exactly what we dealt with earlier with that female. And, as usual, they hit the pole again. <laughs> Actually, they've hit it twice now. Let's see if they'll do it again. Oh, uh, you gotta love AI in video games. Oh, and now they're drag racing a van, which is fantastic. Oh, boy. Well, that's, uh... One way to park, I'll give them that. But we're going to go ahead and shut off our stuff. Because I think our shift is ending for today. I appreciate you guys joining me. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next patrol. If you want to see something during the day or anything like that, you have any suggestions, drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you really, really liked it, do consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.